Amen. Turn into your Bibles. If you don't have it, don't worry. Amen. But as you, as, you, as you find it, stand. If you can't stand, it's okay. I mean, I can read. I'm a good reader. Amen? Amen. We're going to turn to Psalms. Oh, okay. Psalms 93. Very easy. Turn to the middle of your Bible. We all have digital Bibles now. We're all fancy. That means you should be faster than those of us who use books. Amen? Amen. Amen. Psalms 93. Yes. Short one. 10, 20, 30, 40, okay. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And I'm going to read. And it reads. The Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord has clothed himself. He has armed himself with power. The world was set in place. It cannot be moved. Your throne was set in place a long time ago. You are eternal. The ocean rises, O Lord. The ocean rises with a roar. The ocean rises with its pounding waves. The Lord above is mighty, mightier than the sound of raging water, mightier than the foaming waves of the sea. Your written testimonies are completely reliable, O Lord. Holiness is what makes your house beautiful for days without end. Amen. Lord, we thank you and love you. We adore you. We lift you up. We give you praise, honor, and glory. Yes, and we thank you for your word today. We thank you for your people today. We thank you for life today. And in your holy name we say amen. 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 Please be seated. I chose um, Psalms um, because the, the book of Psalms is, is an amazing thing. And I know we, we read the Psalms, but when the Psalms were written, they were written as songs, holy songs, hymns in which we had lost the music to. And, and maybe that's good because that means that we are free to, 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 to engage in worship in a manner that befits our personalities and our times. Maybe that, that music then would not have been to our liking. That, that means that however you worship the Lord, long as you've got his word right, if, if you want to do it with a drum, you want to do it with an electric guitar, however it is you want to worship God, as long as it is in keeping with his word, you are on firm ground. Yes. And, and Psalms are so important. Sometimes people, people who want things done in their lives just read the Psalms. The reason why is, is because when you hear a song, there's something about music, there's something about lyrics that, that can take you places. You might hear a song that, that you used to like back in the day. Come on. And, 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 and you hear that, that word, and it might remember, remind you of your first love. Mm -hmm. huh? And all of a sudden, you, you're there again, smiling, and nobody is, know why you're smiling. Right. You might hear a song and remind you of a heartbreak, and you might start to feel sad, and nobody knows why you, you're feeling sad. Such is the power of lyrics. Mm -hmm. You might remember a, a song when you used to dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be shake, 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 shake your what? And then you'll start, you know, your question, right? Right. Your foot start to tap uh -huh. because it's going to take you back to when the, the lights were flashing. Such is the power of lyrics because it's about our emotions and it transcends time and place. And, 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 and when you have songs to the Lord, it can take you where, where you were triumphant. Yes, it, yes. it can take you back to people who wrote psalms who were failing. Yes. It, it, and, and they can show you just how much failing but finding the Lord had, had brought them out of the circumstance so the Psalms are powerful some people who are caught up in things perhaps they shouldn't be, be caught up in in, in in separate Christian um, sex, they use it to get things done Yes. rather than, than, than doing a seance they would say if somebody bothers you read these Psalms, they do that mm -hmm. such is the power of Psalms so, so, so I say to you that don't neglect the Psalms the, the, if, if you had been caught up by a song, a, 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 a regular secular song, and you can note the power of that song, lift up the psalms yes. and see what their power can do for you. Right. Because sometimes when you're in the depth, uh, you know, sometimes you want to hear something personal. Sometimes you want to hear somebody else's yeah. song yeah. as to how they got through, as to how they got yeah. over, as to how the Lord fixed it, as to how the thing will be done, no yeah. matter how bad you are. When you when you're trapped in a corner, you are well advised to find yourself in Psalms. Yes. Yeah. And in this Psalm here, which, 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 which really moved me, the mere title of it is that the Lord reigns. Yes. And, 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 and that to me is amazing because sometimes we forget that the Lord reigns. I don't care how oh, long you've been right. saved. That's right. I, I, I don't care. 
you know, because life is tends to creep up creep up on us. And, mm-hmm. and sometimes we're like a, a frog in boiling water. We don't feel the heat at all. We don't understand what's going on. All we know that is that life is, is leaving us. And, and that's just the, the level of our of, of, of our touch and touching and feeling of the Lord. And so whenever you're going through your life, if you know nothing else, know that the Lord reigns. Yes. Know that he reigns over your health. Yes. Know that he reigns over your finances. That's right. That's right. Know that he reigns over even your lack of faith. Yes. Know that he reigns over how you feel about yourself yes. on a daily basis, which is not always good. Oh. If you can just forget about yourself mm. and then really realize that, yes, I'm not the way I'm supposed to be. Right. Yes, my situation is not as I'd like it to be. Yes, I've done wrong. Yes, I do myself wrong every day. But if you just get your mind out of yourself, out of what you're thinking, out of what you worry about all the time, and understand that the Lord reigns, yes. that means that he reigns over your appetite. Yes. That means he reigns over your circumstance. Yes. That means that you're in charge. Yes. He's in charge. And that, and that whatever it is you're battling with, if you just... Give it over to him. Yes, Lord. And I feel like I'm teaching Sunday school, but that's fine because sometimes we forget the basics. Come on, that's right. Sometimes we get so sophisticated about these things. Sometimes we think we have to do this and we have to do that and we have to do all these things. If you just get yourself like the man Job did and says, I know my Redeemer lives. Yes, though, 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 though you can't find any help in any right. place because sometimes you, you might not be able to fast. Sometimes you may have to help for it. So Sometimes you you, you might be so hurt that all you can do is sit still and be stunned. But if you just remember, if you just look to the hills from where cometh your help, it shall be well. Never forget that the Lord reigns. That means he's the king. Yes, he is. That that, that means it's it's not anything you're going through is the king of what's happening. It's the Lord himself. Mm. I watch a lot of documentaries and I was watching how, how kings fought. And, 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 and back in the day, if you were a king, it's not like we see today, like with the kings and queens of today. They have weddings and there's, there's chariots and right. they look all good and everything and, and everybody's like thronging around them because they're wonderful. But the kings that they're talking about in the Bible, these men fought. They, they had to fight every single day to, to keep their territory. It, it, it was about battle and warfare. And, and if you were a subject of that king, he would put his life on the line to keep you safe because yeah, you, right. you were important to him. Right. You were a subject to him. It was an affront upon him personally if he couldn't defend you, if, if he couldn't keep you yeah. safe. Then he was no king at all. How much more? Hallelujah, Jesus is our king uh, to, to our ourselves and our circumstance. So when the psalmist says that the Lord reigns, that he is king, he is saying that no matter how low that he himself was, he knows that he is under the protection of the Lord. Let me, let me tell you, he didn't, that wherever he went, because he was a, a citizen of that, of that kingdom, he was under the protection of that Lord. And if you are a subject of that Lord, often he has things for you to do. That's right. Come on. Yes, he does. And your thing might be farming, mm-hmm. sowing seed, huh? Come on. Or sometimes you're a warrior on the front line, huh? Mm-hmm. Come on now. You might even be an apostle, which is nothing but a delegate, nothing but an ambassador mm-hmm. who has authority to, to go out huh, and conquer more kingdom That's for right. the Lord. You That's see, right. everybody in that kingdom must produce. Everybody in that kingdom must do something. Yes. And, and, and in this circumstance with the Lord, we all know our calling. And if we all remind ourselves that the Lord reigns, that, that, that he is our king, we automatically know where we stand because sometimes we feel like a motherless child. Sometimes we think we don't belong to nobody. Sometimes we think we're all alone. Sometimes we think that it's all lost. But if you just Find your way to the house of the right. Lord. Let me yeah. tell you now. He's going to show you how valuable he, he, you, you are. He, right. he says in his word that he would leave a, a hundred. That's right. On that hill and he would find you. Yeah. And, 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 and my sermon is not long, but I just want to remind you again that the Lord reigns. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. When, 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 when Caleb found himself at 80 years old. He said, I'm still just as strong. Give me that mountain. He understood that the Lord reigns. It was not his health. 
It was not his age. It was not him being feeble. He was going to do it under the power of the Lord. When those 10 spies went, 12 spies went out and two came back, it was the two who knew that the Lord reigns that said we can take That's this right. land. Right. It was the 10 who saw flesh, who didn't see the power of the yes. kingdom of the Lord, the Lord who couldn't see them themselves clear to get the, the battle done. Yes. And, and, and the reason why these things are happening, the reasons why we, we, we often act like the, the, the 10 spies because we forget that the Lord reigns and our Lord is he's a spiritual. You see, we think that the material is the reality. The material is not the reality. What we see right now is, is the cause into being by his word. And let me tell you, it is word based. It is, it is an order of the king but in reality it's spiritual and those two spies saw the reality. <laughs> they didn't care who was in the land. They didn't care what they looked like. Like David didn't care how big Goliath was. Right. And you got to remember that when the Lord reigns, see the world through that prism of, of reality. It's not the bill collector. It's not the crook. It's not the person who left you. Right. It's not the person who's getting on your nerve. It's not the person you, you look at in the mirror. It's not that raggedy car you, you, you have. It's not the situation you found yourself in. If you just see it as a test to, yeah. to get your mind straight, to, yeah. to understand that, that, that it's not these things, that it's the Lord who yeah. reigns. And, yeah. and, 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 and let me tell you further, the Lord reigns so on, on, on high that, 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 that the disciples who walked with Jesus all those years weren't ready to see how much the Lord reigns <coughs> until the Holy Spirit was poured out on them. You see, you, you, yes. you see, sometimes the, you see the reality of the thing will hit you sometime, and the reality of the whole thing is His Spirit. And 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 sometimes the, you see because the Lord He He lives on high, but low slow. He knows what His what His subjects need. And 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 and, and see when you're ready to be called up. For battle, yes, come on. He's, he's going to send the, the, the real power yes. that you need. Yes. You see, right. it, it's yes. not by might, it's not yes. by power, but it's by His Spirit, yes. saith the Lord. That's the reality. So, so you might be shut up in the upper room right yes. now. You might have seen the thing that you followed fail. Yes. You might have seen what you thought you loved nailed to the cross. But if you just stand fast yes. and understand that the Lord reigns, and even though you don't know how it's going to work out. Even though you can't see a way out, yes. even though you think it's all lost, if you just stay in position, he will send the power from on high oh that you need. And and then we have twelve men who are afraid. All the, all, all all this time, it became people who are willing to give their lives for the Lord, yes. not because they were greater than you. It's because they saw the reality of the situation. They saw what it's really about. When Jesus held, he had healed the eyes of a blind man. Blind man couldn't see. That's right. He was born from birth, and Jesus took mud and daubed it in that man's eyes and, and, and spat. And the man said, "What?" Jesus said, "What can you see now?" And he said, "I see men as trees walking." You see, you you you. you you see, sometimes when, when the Lord you know, comes upon you and he's doing things for you, you're not going to see what it is because he, he, he wants to give you spiritual eyesight. Yeah. He, he wants to give you a spiritual understanding. And, and that man never saw before, so he's not going to see what he really sees. But it took a second application, and then the man could really see what reality is about. Thank but you, before Lord. that, he, before he could see what reality is, is all about, he had to first understand that the Lord reigns. He had to understand that That's Jesus right. is Lord. He understand right. that Jesus can get it done. Yes. And that means that even if you were born with a disposition against certain things, if you were born a piece of trash that people are going to tell you, if you just hold on a little yes. while longer, if you just recognize that the Lord yes, reigns, God. Yes, God. the Thank great man of faith always wanted, Abraham, what, what did he always want? A child. That's right. The baby. Huh? Don't sometimes God do that to us? Mm. Make you wait. God, make you wait mm. until yeah, you. It, the, the Bible says that they were almost dead. They were in their nineties. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. 
Come, and, and, and that's what bothers us sometimes. You see, you see, we think because it's not happening according to our time that yeah. it's, it's not going to happen. Why? Because we're not viewing reality properly. But if you understand that because you don't see it doesn't mean anything. If you understand that the Lord reigns, you're not worried about what the body can do. You're not worried about what the body can't do. That's right. And that great man of faith who was almost dead, the Lord told him what? Huh? You're going to have a son. You're going to produce. It's going to happen for you. Yes. If it happened to, to, to a person who was almost a cadaver, mm -hmm. it's going to happen for you. Right. Let, let me tell That's you. Right. And yeah. there are promises upon your life today. Right. And I don't want you to forget. I don't want you to let the enemy show you things which are not true. Right. I don't want the enemy to, to try to make you to turn bread into stone. I don't want you to go for that. I don't want you to throw yourself off the top of a building. No, I don't. I don't want you to put the Lord to the test thinking that the angels shall yeah. have charge over them. I don't want you to think of about that. I want you to keep in your mind that yes, the Lord reigns. Yes. And, and, and he is he who decides what's going to happen. Yes. That means if, if, if an old man can produce, what more can you do if you keep in your mind what you're going through that the Lord reigns. Right. Let me tell you when Pharaoh had his had the people locked up, chained up, slaved mm -hmm. and, 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 and beaten them bad. What did Pharaoh learn? That the Lord reigns. And, right. and, and it took him 12 beatdowns to understand the Lord reigns. And, and it's not only Pharaoh. Sometimes it takes us 12 beatdowns. I'm sure some of you have had, some of you have had 11 and a half already. And, and you're still not moving like he said. But it's going to be that last one. Come on now. And, and, he, and, and he took from Pharaoh and those yes. Egyptians what he gave to Abraham, right. what they wanted. Right. Let me right. tell you, things could be turned around. Yes. They can be turned around for you in an instant. Yes, thank you, Lord. Gideon, Gideon found himself in a hole in the wall, mm -hmm. a hole in the ground, trying to hide some food. And some of us have our ministry in a hole in the ground. Some of us have our belief in what we're supposed to do cool. in a hole in the ground because we're afraid. We're afraid of what the outsiders are going to do. Mm -hmm. And and then came the Lord to Gideon and said, yes. he said, up, oh, you, 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 you great man of valor. Yes, my God. And Gideon yes. said, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. He, he said, Lord, don't you know I'm the smallest? Mm -hmm. And I'm from the smallest tribe, yeah. in the smallest family. I'm the smallest one. Mm -hmm. You see, he was looking at it through fleshly eyes. Yeah, don't look at it right. through fleshly right. eyes. And, 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 and as, as diminutive and as low down as Gideon was, he, he, you know, God is, is not loving Gideon more than you. That's God right. is going to pull your circumstance Thank out you. of that barrel hole. Let me that's tell you now. God is going to pull it out like it's supposed to yes, do. God. If you just believe that the yes, Lord, Lord reigns. reigns and when you wake up in the morning you don't feel right and yes. you won't remember now the Lord yes. reigns and yes. when you're going through your midday and Come it looks now, like it's not going to happen realize now that the yes. Lord yes. reigns yes. when you get bad news and it sounds like it's impossible to, to fix yes. it Thank remember you. what the, the Lord reigns. When, yes, when you lay down at night and you don't know where the next thing is going to come from that you yes. need, what do you do? And remember, oh, the, the Lord, Lord reigns. And Hallelujah. if you just remember yes, that, uh, every witness yes. in the Bible who, 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 yes. who won, they won because Thank the you. Lord reigns. Yes. Yes. Jesus rose again from the dead. Why? Yes. Because the Lord, the Lord reigns. reigns. That's right. Thank and he you. appeared to them after that mm. to show yes, them that the Lord reigns. And, and then we get to, to, to even Revelation. In Revelation, yes. what do we learn? Mm. The Lord, Lord reigns. reigns. Don't you don't you God. ever forget that. In the beginning was the word, and the yes. word was with yes. God, and everything was made oh, by and God. through Hallelujah. him. Why? Because the Lord, Lord reigns. reigns. Yes, and in Genesis 1:1, in yes. the beginning was the yes. word. <laughs> Thank you, God. Yes, in the beginning was God. In the beginning yes. was God. God reigns. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Everything that happened, parting the Red Sea, bringing down the walls of Jericho, pulling Rahab out that hole, and, and, and making her in the lineage of Jesus, that happened because the Lord reigns. Even though Ruth, the Ruth was, was, was a, a pagan woman, but she understood that the Lord reigns. She said, I will follow you wherever you go. Even Esther, when her people were about to be exterminated from history, what did she understand? The Lord, the Lord reigns. That's right. Don't you forget, the Lord reigns. If he did all these things to show that the Lord reigns, the Lord reigns. Never forget that we were created in his image. That's right. That's right. 
Hold up your head, O ye gates. Yes. Come on now. Yes. D don't ever forget who you are. Thank you, Lord. Trouble only comes to show you that what? The Lord, the Lord reigns. reigns. That's right. And you don't have to worry. You don't have to fret. You don't have to fight. You don't have to cry. You will not even lose a single thing. Not one broken, nothing missing because the, the Lord, Lord reigns. reigns. Yes, God. Father, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. Thank you. We lift you up. We give you praise, honor, and glory. And we're yes, thankful, God, God yes, that God. you reign. Lord, reign over our yes, lives. God. Reign yes, over God. our emotions. Reign over yes, our finances. Yes, reign God. over our children. Yes, reign God. over our grandchildren. Yes, reign over those who have come and gone. Thank reign you. over everything that we've lost. Reign over everything that we're going to get. Reign over our hearts and our spirits today. Amen. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We adore you. And in your holy name we say, Amen. 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 Amen.